What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to use ChatGPT for keyword research. So I'm going to give you some really easy prompts that you can put into ChatGPT and by the end of it I'll show you how you can build a keyword list that looks like this one for all sorts of different subtopics that you cover within your niche. So for example, I'm going to be using my Surfside PPC YouTube channel and some different ways I can simply use ChatGPT to come up with content ideas. So here are the five really easy prompts that you can use with ChatGPT to come up with keywords. So the very first thing you need to do is come up with some of the most popular subtopics related to your niche. So you'll see the blanks here. This is where you need to enter whatever your niche is, whatever the main topic you're covering is, that's what you need to fill in the blank with. Now here you're gonna see subtopic in brackets. So when we do our first search and we come up with a bunch of different subtopics, you can break down your subtopics even further as well. So the more keywords that you can come up with, the better keyword list you're ultimately gonna create. So the very first thing is, what are the 20 most popular subtopics related to blank? So I come over here to chat GPT, what are the 20 most popular subtopics related to PPC advertising? We'll hit enter. Okay, so here's the 20 that it gave me. So campaign management, copywriting, targeting, optimization. So just from using this example, I can come up with something like copywriting. I can come up with something like targeting, optimization. These are all different things where I can break down these subtopics to how to optimize your Google ads campaigns, how to optimize your Facebook ads campaigns. Now, what you can also do is come up here and say something along the lines of what are the 20 most popular PPC advertising platforms. So coming up with the actual platforms that people are using for PPC advertising. Okay, so the 20 most popular PPC advertising platforms, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Microsoft Advertising, Amazon Advertising. So as I start to come up with some different content ideas, let's just say I wanna start covering Microsoft Advertising with my next series of videos. So what you can do is say, our second prompt over here, what are 20 popular subtopics related to this subtopic? Now using the very first response they gave us, if I come up to the top here, looking at all of these different examples, one of the things that I can pull out is landing pages. Now I'm doing a keyword research series right now, so I'm trying to do as many keyword research videos as possible. So let's pull out two examples, landing pages, and we'll do Microsoft advertising. We're gonna come over to our spreadsheet here and we are going to enter these two keywords. Okay, so we make it look a little better. So these are the main topics that we're covering here. And ultimately what I wanna do is come up with courses for all of these main topics. Last year I released a Google Ads course, a keyword research course. So I'm looking to come out with more course-like material. So I really wanna cover these topics comprehensively. And ChatGPT is a quick and easy way to come up with all sorts of different topic ideas, video ideas, blog post ideas. So let's start with Microsoft Advertising and we'll start building this keyword list here coming back over to chat GPT and using the prompts. So we're gonna use these four different prompts for Microsoft advertising. Popular subtopics, popular long tail keywords, 20 different popular Microsoft advertising keywords I can target with blog posts, and 20 popular Microsoft advertising keywords I can target with YouTube videos. Now I can also do this for the, my main topic, which is PPC advertising or paid advertising. So you can do this with really any of the topics that you're covering. And as you start to break down your niche even further, the more and more that you can cover these subtopics, the ultimately the better you're gonna rank in the YouTube search engine, in the Google search engine, in the Bing search engine. So every single search engine that people are using, you want your website to rank high so you can drive that organic traffic. So we'll come back over here to chat GPT and start entering some of our prompts. Hopefully we don't hit our hourly limit, but I haven't really been using it this hour. So you may hit a limit if you're using chat GPT too much, too much in the same hour. You may also have an issue where it freezes up on you and you may just have to reload chat GPT. So let's do some of our prompts. Okay, so first one we have here, 20 most popular subtopics related to Microsoft advertising. Now the one thing to keep in mind is for this keyword, Bing ads is still a really popular keyword. So I could also do the same exact thing for Bing ads and make sure I understand that I'm covering this topic using all of the different long tail keywords and subtopics related to Microsoft advertising and Bing ads since they're both essentially identical keywords, but people do search different things for Bing ads and Microsoft advertising. And even though they switched the name to Microsoft Advertising several years ago, Bing Ads still gets plenty of search volume that it's worth targeting. So we'll come down here. We have our 20 popular subtopics related to Microsoft Advertising. 
pretty similar to what we saw with our first subtopics, which not a big deal. All we're trying to do is come up with ideas for YouTube video topics and blog post topics. So we'll start with these right here and we'll paste them in Excel. Okay, so our next prompt here, what are 20 popular long tail keywords for the short tail keyword Microsoft Advertising? We'll click on enter. Okay, they've given us 20 different long tail keywords here for Microsoft Advertising. Now you can ask them to just repeat this prompt and remove the quotes and they'll send you the exact same thing without the quotes if you're copying and pasting this directly into Microsoft Excel. So let's do our next prompt here. So coming down, two more prompts. So blog posts and YouTube videos. We're looking for 20 different keywords for blog posts, 20 different keywords for YouTube videos. There is gonna be overlap, so don't worry about having overlap. We're ultimately trying to come up with some type of comprehensive list so we can look through all of these different subtopics and figure out which ones make the most sense to create content for. So that's really where you need to take your keyword research and turn it into content strategy. That will be a separate video. So let's come back over, do our next prompt. Okay, next, what are 20 popular Microsoft advertising keywords I can target with blog posts? We'll click on enter. Okay, we have 20 more here that they've given us. Now what you can do is just say, remove quotes from the last response. Click on enter and they'll give us the same exact response without the quotes. So they haven't been giving me quotes for these, so I'm not sure why they're giving me quotes this time, but if you're getting quotes like this, just ask them to remove them. They'll remove the quotes so we can easily copy and paste all of these different keywords and topics into Microsoft Excel. Okay, our last question here, what are 20 popular Microsoft advertising keywords I can target with YouTube videos and click on enter. Okay, so they've given us our 20 different Microsoft advertising keywords that we can target with YouTube videos. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste all of these keywords and put them in Microsoft Excel. Okay, coming back over to my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, you can see I have my Google ads keywords here, I have Facebook ads, and then I've done Microsoft advertising. I haven't gone through these. There's definitely a lot of repeat keywords, a lot of repeat topics. So you may see something like ad campaign management in Microsoft advertising, ad copywriting in Microsoft advertising. Later down as we scroll down, we may see more about copywriting, how to use copywriting to create effective ads. So you're gonna see here ad copywriting best practices. Ultimately, what I end up doing is I end up taking all of these keywords, I will go through these one by one, and I will take out some of the different keywords and come up with topic ideas that I know I can create for a YouTube video. So that's really what you need to do depending on the type of content that you're creating. And then I'm gonna go through and do the same exact thing for landing pages. So let's open this up a little bit. Let's do the same thing for landing pages here. I'm gonna fast forward to this part and just show you my final keyword list, showing you how easy it is to actually come up with all of these different keywords. Now this works for really any niche. Let's say a completely, a niche I know nothing about. I actually got a question recently that somebody asked me, what are some different keywords that I can use if I'm creating a website about smart homes? So different types of smart home technology, different types of smart home products. So coming up with blog post ideas for a website about smart homes. So you can use ChatGPT for this as well. So let's come back over to ChatGPT. Okay, so the first thing, what are 20 most popular subtopics related to smart homes? We have 20 popular subtopics related to smart homes, so voice assistance, security systems, smart lighting systems. Now what I could also do is come here and just say, what are, and you don't have to stop at 20, you can do 50 if you want. So I could just look up what are 50 long tail keywords for smart homes. But what I like to do is kind of come up with some different topics. So I can say, what are 20 of the most popular smart home products for sale? Okay, 20 of the most popular smart home products. And you can see here are 20 popular smart home products that are currently available for sale. And as we scroll down, you can see all of these different smart products. Now, as we come in here and you see something like smart sprinkler system, what you can continue to do is as you're come up with, coming up with different long tail keywords, I can say, what are 20 long tail keywords for the short tail keyword smart sprinkler? Click on enter. Okay, and as it's giving us our prompt, you can see, so we have smart sprinkler controller and they have with weather-based scheduling. So some of these are not gonna be the exact long tail keywords you would expect to see. For example, if I go to Google and I just search smart sprinkler in Google, and coming over here and just looking at the long tail keywords here for smart sprinkler, you can see controller, heads, timer, controller reviews, repair, system kit, valve. There's more here that are just specific product type. But what you can do is if you can come up with a list of long tail keywords like this, and let's just come down here to valve, we'll copy this. We're gonna come back over to chat GPT again. We're gonna paste these keywords. 
Now let's get rid of controller reviews. Okay, so we have smart sprinkler controller, heads timer repair, controller Google Home. Maybe we'll get rid of these two right now. We'll just do system kit. Let's just do system and we have valve. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different long tail keywords. If we're trying to rank for smart sprinkler, what we need to do is create content around all these keywords, maybe show the best possible product for sale for all these keywords. But using chat GPT, you can literally say, can you use the long tail keywords or We'll just say, can you use the keywords below to come up with blog post ideas? Okay, so they've given me 20 different blog post ideas just using these different keywords provided. Now again, you don't have to write every single blog post idea, but this is again where you come through here, use these blog post ideas and say, okay, the environmental benefits of using a smart sprinkler system, this is something that we can easily write a blog article about and as people are looking for are smart sprinkler systems good for the environment? Will smart sprinkler systems help me save on my water bill? Maybe you can combine multiple different articles to say, here's how it's good for the environment and saves you money on your water bill. So you can do both of these different things by coming up with all of these different keyword ideas and chat GPT is a really great tool. So as I'm coming up with content ideas for YouTube, I can say, what are 30 different videos I should make on YouTube about the topic of landing pages. Okay, they give me 30 different video ideas and these are really good video ideas and a lot of times what you're gonna see in these video ideas are specific keywords. Landing page optimization for conversion rate improvement but basically for conversion rate optimization. Landing page A-B testing. Landing page personalization. How to design a mobile friendly landing page. So they're taking keywords and coming up with YouTube video ideas. And this is just an easy way to do keyword research, even beyond saying something along the lines of what are 20 long tail keywords for the short tail keyword landing pages. So I like doing these different types of prompts into chat GPT to see what some of the best long tail keywords I can target are. So in addition to using keyword research tools, using things like autocomplete, seeing what videos are already doing very well on YouTube, seeing what blog posts are doing very well on Google, I can come up with even more ideas so I can create my own unique content. The goal here is just to come up with content ideas. So as you go through the process of creating your own content for your niche, you can make sure you're covering all of the different things you need to. And ChatGPT is a great way to do keyword research. And now what we can do is we can copy all of these different ideas they just gave us. We'll paste them in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so coming back over here to Microsoft Excel, you can see we have all of our different landing pages, keywords, topic ideas. And what I generally do now, just like I would do with Microsoft Advertising, is take out some of the top different keywords that I'm seeing, different topics that they've shown me, and I'm just gonna use those to come up with YouTube video ideas. So I can say, okay, I know how to, for example, I know some good tips for writing effective landing page copy. So basically, all I'll do is come over to my spreadsheet where I come up with my YouTube video ideas and just say, landing page copy tips to improve conversion rates. So you can come up with all of these different topics and it's very easy to do using a tool like ChatGPT and you can do all sorts of keyword research using some of these different prompts. Break down your topic into subtopics very easily. You can find the 20 most popular subtopics even for one of the other subtopics you've done. And as we go through this, I can do this for all sorts of different keywords that I'm covering. Let's scroll up to the top here and you'll see here for what are the 20 most popular PPC advertising platforms. If I start creating content specifically around Twitter ads, I can say, okay, what are some long tail keywords for Twitter ads? What are some YouTube video ideas? What are some different things that I could cover on my blog or my YouTube channel? So that's ultimately what you wanna do as you are trying to come up with these content ideas. First, it starts with keyword research and from there you can easily create content ideas. So hopefully this has been helpful. How to use chat GPT for keyword research. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.